For sure you heard the word algorithm many times before. And for sure you use these numbers every single day. And no doubt that you have you studied or heard about algebra in mathematics. But from where these words came and what's the story of the numbers? The ideas of algebra and Hindu Arabic numerals were introduced by al khwarizmi to world mathematicians during the Middle Ages. He is Muhammad ibn Musa al khwarizmi born circa 780 in Khwarizm, a Muslim mathematician and astronomer who lived in Baghdad where he worked in House of Widsam, Dar al Hikmah in Arabic, under the Caliphate of al Mamun. The House of Wisdom acquired and translated scientific and philosophic treatises, particularly Greek, as well as publishing original research. Al Khwarizmi's work on elementary algebra, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, was translated into Latin in the 12th century, from which the title and term algebra derives. He is known as the father of algebra, which is a compilation of rules, together with demonstrations, for finding solutions of linear and quadratic equations based on intuitive geometric arguments, rather than the abstract notation now associated with the subject. In the 12th century a second work by al Khwarizmi introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals and their arithmetic to the West. It is preserved only in a Latin translation, Algorithmi de numero indorum, al Khwarizmi concerning the Hindu art of reckoning, from the name of the author, rendered in Latin as algorithmi, originated the term algorithm. A third major book was his Kitab Surat al-Ard, The Image of the Earth, translated as Geography, which presented the coordinates of localities in the known world based, ultimately, on those in the geography of Ptolemy but with improved values for the length of the Mediterranean Sea and the location of cities in Asia and Africa. He also assisted in the construction of a world map for the Caliphate al Mamun, and participated in a project to determine the circumference of the Earth, which had long been known to be spherical, by measuring the length of a degree of a meridian through the plain of Sinjar in Iraq. Finally, Al Khwarizmi also compiled a set of astronomical tables based on a variety of Hindu and Greek sources. This work included a table of signs, evidently for a circle of radius 150 units. Like his treatises on algebra and Hindu-Arabic numerals, this astronomical work, or an Andalusian revision thereof, was translated into Latin. If you like the video click on subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.